If you're still cutting your mesh like this using vanilla blender knife in edit mode, then my friend, you're stuck in a stone age. Let me show you a tool that's gonna save you a ton of time and also give you way more functionality to slice the hell out of your mesh. Let's go. Let me show you first how the knife in vanilla blender works. It's really simple and has very basic functions and you know, it's very limited. So if I go to edit mode and press K, I can connect, you know, these two edges with these dots. And if I press space, it's going to cut this with, you know, with a knife tool. So K, click, click, right, and then space. And you see, we're gonna have a line. You can also cut through the mesh by clicking here, pressing C and then clicking and pressing space, which is gonna go through the mesh, right? And then obviously you got stuff like angles, so you can, you know, click here, press A for the straight line, click here, and then you're gonna have like an angled line going through your mesh, space, and then you go. But the problem with this one is that, you know, if you, for example, wanna add bevels or do anything more complicated or move this, you know, this knife, cutter you know up and down or use another object to cut this mesh it's really troublesome right it's, it's going to take a lot of time it's, it's very cumbersome so instead what we do we use uh, the knife tool from hard ops and box cutter and if you don't use these add-ons you should these add-ons are eight times faster than vanilla blender tool so imagine if a project takes you 10 hours normally with vanilla blender it would take you about an hour and a half using hard ops and box cutter. That's how fast these add-ons are. And the way they achieve this result is by simplifying a lot of mundane and repeatable and really boring, technical, clunky clicks in Vanilla Blender into one click or two click operation. In addition, adding more functionality on top of this, which is just brilliant. And it just goes to bevels, bullions, you name it, it you know, it's there, it's fantastic. And we have a superb course on this which just dropped so it's brand new it's called the ultimate guide to hard ops and box cutter and if you really want to learn these add-ons this is the only and i'm serious the only complete source of knowledge on these add-ons on the market period the documentation is outdated my channel on youtube has about 160 videos on hard ops and box cutter but you're gonna spend you know a month or two watching them in order to learn and probably it's gonna be very confusing and fragmented because they you know usually solve a very specific problem or attack a specific tool this course is very well thought out you got menus and tools from a practical perspective then you got the whole modeling section advanced section so you can not only learn all the tools and menus but also understand how they work why they work like that and in addition you can create your own personalized workflow and personalized setup for these add-ons that fits your needs this course is amazing and i've dropped six years of my personal experience using these add-ons every freaking day and producing i don't know how many courses we produce with blender bus but it's going to be probably like 50 in total using these add-ons so we do this you know for fun professionally for client work you name it you can use it for anything even for sub d some people think oh you can't use hard ups and box cutter for sub d bullshit we have a course on this as well which is you know the sub d course for blender and i'm using all the possible add-ons in there to make sub d not just more bearable because it's boring as hell but also fast because sub d is really clunky and oftentimes make people quit blender so go ahead click the link in the video description to get the ultimate guide to hard ups and box cutter you're gonna love the course and also so you'll start loving blender modeling much more because it's going to become fun and very enjoyable now going back to our video let me show you how knife works in in hard ups and box cutter it's really simple i'm going to activate box cutter by pressing alt w and go to d menu and now we can choose the different cutter right you can use a cutter with a circle square and gone custom shapes you know again this is very difficult or impossible in vanilla so let's choose Angon, for example, right? Which is a really fun, fun cutter. And I'm going to be running a cut here like this. And by default, it's going to be a Boolean cutter, which is red color. But I'm going to press K for knife. And you would think, well, I can create stuff like this, you know, easily in Blender Vanilla. But you would need to model the cube, cut it, you know, apply the cutter, then use that cube as a cutter, then go to orthographic mode and use a projection for the knife, right? The projection tool. Really cumbersome and very annoying. So now what I can do, I can press E, which is going to pause the cutter, and I'm going to be able to extrude it like this through. 
And if I'm going to press tab, it's going to pause it completely. And now you see I got this additional functionality which Blender Vanilla doesn't have. I can adjust this cutter. I can move it. Right? You can't do it in Vanilla Blender. I can move it wherever I want. I can add bevels. I can press B and I can add bevels. And these bevels can be added in a, in a multiple ways. So for example, this is a regular bevel. If I'm going to move my mouse to the left and right, I'm going to have a chamfer. And if I do it again, I'm going to have a bevel. I can scroll up and down and you can see how many segments we're adding. We're in six, right? Press tab again. Let's move it here and let's move this part deeper. And what I want now, I want another bevel here, right? So I'm going to press Q for a Q bevel. So again, B for bevel and then Q for quad bevel. And now I got bevel on this side as well. So I got bevel not just here, but also here. And if I press space, I'm going to get exactly that cut. You see what I mean? Good luck doing this with Vanilla Blender, right? So if I'm going to grab all these parts and I'm going to, for example, inset it, I'm going to go to Q, I'll click on here, Macro and Bob Jankel. And that's how easy it is to, you know, work with, um, with uh, this knife tool using these add-ons. Another thing you can do, you can use shapes to cut through your mesh using knife. So if I duplicate this, I can use now hard ops because the previous example was by using box cutter. But I'm going to be using hard ops here. So I'm going to select this cube, right? This one, shift select this one, Q, booleans and knife. And this is going to slice this cube with this knife tool, right? Leaving these edges here. Um, I can do whatever the hell I want with them. And I can create, for example, a pipe out of them, right? I can, you know, I can... Uh, I can move them inwards like this, create an inset, whatever I want, right? I can create a panel, right? So shift click on curve extract and create a panel. So you have a lot of options. And you see how fast that is, how intuitive that is, right? And, and how much more fun you're going to have modeling this because you will stop thinking about technicalities or, you know, I have to create a cube, I have to boolean it, I have to apply the boolean, then I have to, it's, it's just, it's annoying. Because it stops your creativity, you know, like instantly, right? You just have to stop, do the technical process, go through all these, you know, bullshit operations, then you go back, you know what I mean? Like, it's just annoying. So when, you, when you're when a creative person and you have a creative mind, or even when you're trying to learn Blender, it's just really irritating to go through all these technical, you know, steps that you need to repeat every single time you want to do this, you know, the, perform a cut or add a bevel, whatever. Blender Vanilla is just so, so slow. So anyway, that's not an example, right? And, you know, you can adjust the cutter as well using uh, using these add-ons. So, for example, uh, if I grab this cube and I'm going to duplicate it. And let's say I wanted to add a bevel here. So I'm going to go to mark and I'm going to add a procedural bevel. So I'm going to control click on mark and then the procedural bevel. So this bevel is actually adjustable. So it's not a physical bevel like this, right? It's actually um, a, a modifier. So if you go here, you can see that there's a bevel modifier. So I can go to Q menu, I can adjust it, right? But I can use this cube as a cutter on my mesh. So I'm going to, you know, sharpen it to add some smoothing, which in hard ups is gonna add auto smooth, or now it's called smooth by angle. So it's going to smooth all this mesh. And I'm gonna shift click on this one, Q, go to Boolean and click on knife. And this is going to slice exactly that shape. And now, for example, if I wanted to adjust this bevel to something different, you know, maybe a bit, you know, a bit thinner or, or larger, or whatever, and um, and move it somewhere else, let's say, you know, somewhere here, I can reuse this cutter again and again and again, right? So you don't have to create the cut manually, because if I wanted to do it with Vanilla Blender, I need to go to K, I need to, you know, click here, press A, press C, click here, click here and then press space, right? Then I have to grab these two points and I have to bevel them. Do you know what I mean? It's really annoying, right? This is much quicker, okay? So, um, and you can, like I said, reuse elements in your scene to cut. So for example, if you are building something and you have an element that you created and you wanna echo that element on your mesh, let's say you have uh, you know, a small element like this, and you got a cut in here in the middle, so let's swap it to a cutter, right? We're gonna cut it through with a box cutter, apply this. And I wanted to grab this, you know, this element, move it somewhere here. I wanna scale this and I wanna reuse it as an echoing element on this mesh, right? And I wanna cut it. So shift click here, Q, Boolean, you know, and then knife and boom, Bob your uncle, I grab this one, right? And I go to Alt-E, extrude manifold, and there you go and you got this shape, right? And you see that whole shape is now echoed 
in the back here. So you could really easily grab elements and recreate, you know, kind of like um, some details on your mesh using that knife tool or just using other, you know, types of bullion, right? And lastly, by default, the knife tool is set to go through the mesh, but obviously you can turn it off. So you can go to D menu if you want to, you know, switch it off, go to knife tool, which is here, and you can turn it off, cut through, right? And then if I'm going to cut, you know, cut through my mesh like that and run a knife, it's going to only um, cut on the, on the surface you're looking at, right? So it's not going to go through the mesh, it's going to basically stop. Um, on the first face, so you got options and uh, really easy to to you know to adjust. And the fun part is that you know you can you can cycle through these cutters because if I'm going to you know run the regular cut here, right, and I can press X to cycle through all these cutters. And if I want to go to knife tool, all I have to do is press K and I'm in the knife tool. So I can use any type of bullion that I have in a scene as you know as basically a knife cut. So. A very powerful tool, a lot of options, really fun to work, very fast, and you know, you're gonna have a lot of fun with it. So again, go ahead and grab our course, the ultimate guide to hard ups and box cutter. The link is in the video description. It's a fantastic course, and like I said, it's the only complete source of knowledge on these two add-ons on the market right now and probably forever. Because I don't know if there's gonna be anyone in the future about it producing that kind of course with that much depth and experience behind it like we can. So Go ahead, grab it, link in the video description. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.